What is going on guys? My name is Callum WM. How are we all doing? So today we are doing a reverse rebuild of the entire top six. Basically how it works, a flag will pop up on my head and basically we'll have to take the striker from one team and a goalkeeper from that other country as well. So basically it works like that until it meets in the middle, a uh, centre mid or something like that. We'll see who builds the best team and how many points they do get. Let's get started with Arsenal and Tottenham. So then starting off with the managers, Spurs' new manager is going to be Xavi. Hmm, that's a good, good choice. And who is going to be Arsenal's new manager? It's going to be Maxi Allegri. It's not a bad choice of manager, actually. So then to start off the rebuild, Arsenal will get a striker. Tottenham, a goalkeeper. Fabianski goes to Spurs. And Arsenal get Robert Lewandowski. So up next then, Arsenal gets a right winger. Tottenham gets a right back from Ukraine. Would that be Zinchenko and Modric? Modric. Up next then, a centre midfielder for Arsenal and a centre back for Tottenham. So Arsenal are going to get, we'll take Jorginho, uh, and Tottenham are going to get Bastoni. Up next then is going to be another centre midfielder for Arsenal and another centre back for Tottenham. So it would be Barea uh, and a second centre back from Italy, uh, Cellini. Or, yeah, Cellini. Turned into an Italian centre midfield, to be honest. Okay, up next is going to be Brazil. So, Brazilian centre back would be Marquinhos, and a Brazilian centre midfielder would be Bruno Gomes. Mm. So then, up next, Tottenham get a left back. Arsenal get a left winger. I think Arsenal can probably push the boat out and grab Odegaard. Uh, and I'm not sure who the left back for Norway is, if I'm being perfectly honest, okay? <laughs> up next, then, Spurs will grab a centre mid, and Arsenal will grab a centre back. Arsenal can take Uncampo and Tottenham can take N'Golo Kante. So then a second centre midfielder for Tottenham and a centre back for Arsenal. Arsenal can take. Ooh, Arsenal can take PK. No, he's retired. We'll take Ramos uh, and Pedri for Tottenham. Next then a right winger for Spurs and a right back for Arsenal. God, this is another Italian. Uh, at right wing, Chiesa. Uh, for Tottenham and right back can take my head's gone blank but it will be there <laughs> so then up next is going to be left wing for Tottenham and left back for Arsenal Arsenal get David Alaba and a left wing Austrian left winger head's gone blank but it will be there <laughs> finally then for this rebuild Arsenal take a goalkeeper Spurs take a striker so Spurs keep Harry Kane and Arsenal they can keep Aaron Ramsdale. So the two teams are built then. Spurs are going to get 45 points with this team. How? How? What? Then 45 points for Spurs. How many points for Arsenal? 85 points for Arsenal. How? How? Of course, it's time to give these two some new managers. So, Man City's next manager, Ralph Ranić. Oh. Ralph Ranić is the next manager for Man City. Chelsea's is going to be Carlo Ancelotti. A little bit of that. Up next is going to be Man City versus Chelsea. Man City goalkeeper, Chelsea striker, Allison, And would that be Richarlison up front? Hmm. Up next then is going to be Man City right back and Chelsea right winger. Brazil again? Emerson Royale at right back for Man City. And right wing for Chelsea is going to be Vinicius Jr. Be Brazil for a third time. Centre back for Man City. Centre mid for uh, Chelsea. So that would be Antonio Rudiger for Man City. And a centre midfield for Chelsea, Tony Cruz. So up next then, another centre back for Man City. Another centre midfielder for Liverpool. So Chelsea are going to bring back Jorginho. And uh, Man City are going to take, I'm trying to think, uh, Cellini. Why not? Up next then, left back for Man City. Left winger for Chelsea from Germany again at left back would be Alaba for Man City and left wing from Germany would that be Kai Havertz I think I don't know or Werner one of the two up next then a centre midfielder for both teams it's going to be from of course Brazil again uh, Man City can have Casemiro uh, and I think Chelsea can probably have Luis Paqueta why not so up next then, another centre midfielder for Man City, a centre-back for Chelsea. So would that be Sabitza? 
and I, I, I think we've already used Alaba, so someone else. Then another centre midfielder for City, another centre back for uh, Liv Man Chelsea. What am I talking about? Uh, so centre midfielder would be Pedri. I think we've already used him, so maybe Gavi. Uh, and then centre back would probably be Ramos for Chelsea. Up next, right winger for Man City, right back for Chelsea, Mexico. So that'd be Lozano, and I'm not sure Mexico's right back. I can't lie to you guys. I can't lie. I don't know. I don't know it. You know. And up next is going to be the left wing, left back combination from the Netherlands. Left back would that be Daily Blint? I don't know if he's still playing there, but I'm putting him in there. And left wing would be Memphis Depay. Why not? Finally, then a goalkeeper for Chelsea and a striker. For Man City from Belgium. So that means Man City get Lukaku. And Chelsea bring back Thibaut Courtois. <laughs> then how many points for Manchester City? They're going to get 74 points. Not bad. And how many points for Chelsea? Can they beat Man City's total? 50 points for Chelsea. They can't. Of course both of these teams do need a new manager. So Manchester United's new manager is going to be... Frank the Boar? We built this team and then Frank the Boar? Oh. Then Frank the Boar managing Manchester United. Liverpool are going to get Mikel Arteta. It's not a bad pickup, actually. Very good manager. So then the final rebuild between Man United and Liverpool. Manchester United are going to take Hugo Lloris in goal. Liverpool take Karim Benzema at the striker. Ooh. The start of that is for Liverpool. Right back for Man United. Right wing for... Um, Liverpool, sorry. Uh, that's going to be... Ooh, we've already, I think we've already used the right wing there. So, either Timo Werner or Havertz. And right back would be like Slotterback or something. Or Saul. Up next then, a centre-back for United. Centre-mid for Liverpool. is going to be from Poland. I don't know the Polish centre-midfielders. Nope, I don't. I can't think of it. Nope, can't think of it. But they're somewhere. There you go, they're added. I like I do know if I like deep down into my archives, but I can't think right now. Right. French centre-back is going to be Raphael Varane. Centre midfielder for Liverpool is going to be Mr. Paul Pogba. You're welcome. <laughs> Up next then, left-back for United. Left wing for Liverpool from Germany. Why does Germany keep coming up? Um, whoever is available. Leroy Sane for Liverpool. Uh, and then Schlotterbach or Saul again at left-back. <laughs> They've got to play one of the two positions, right? Up next then, a centre midfielder for both teams. They meet in the middle. Man United get Bruno Fernandes and Liverpool can take Ruben Neves. Why not? Up next then, Man United take a centre midfielder. Liverpool take a centre back from Spain. Ooh, uh, Liverpool can take Emmerich Laporte uh, and Manchester United can take Spanish centre midfielder. Ugh, I, think, I think Pedri and Gavi are already off the table. So whoever is next available, okay? Up next then, another centre midfielder for United, another centre back for Liverpool. From Belgium. I know Kevin De Bruyne is already off the table. So, Yuri Tielemans for Manchester United. And at centre-back, um, either Alderweireld or Vertonghen. Whoever's available. <laughs> Next then is going to be a right wing for United. Right back for Liverpool. Ooh, okay. So, Manchester United would take Rafael Liao. And Liverpool would take Jao Cancelo at right back if he's available. I think he is. Yeah, he is. Well, then it's time for a left back, left winger combination. Manchester United would get, I think, Vinicius has already been taken. So whoever the next winger is at Brazil and left back would be, well, why not Marcelo? You can have Marcelo. So then, and finally, goalkeeper for Liverpool, striker for Man United. So at striker, Manchester United would take Julian Alvarez and Liverpool would take Emmy Martinez. That's actually not a bad pickup for both teams, to be fair. So then how many points do Manchester United get with this team? They're going to get 52 points. Mainly because Frank the Boar's in charge. Ugh. And under Mikel Arteta, how many points does Liverpool get? Liverpool are going to get 70 points under Mikel Arteta. It usually takes him a few seasons to like build into it, you know? It's not bad, though. But then after running the numbers, Arsenal comfortably win the league by about 10 points over Man City in second. Liverpool in third. Uh, I believe it was Manchester United in fourth place. Chelsea in fifth. And in sixth place was surprisingly Spurs. Who do you guys think built the best rebuild team? Who do you guys think built the best team, best manager? Um, also, there is going to be some like duplicates, so I'm going to 
to fix them and sort them all out for you guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below if you are new. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for everything. And I will see you again in another video. Peace out.